we are affiliated colleges. So I would now like to request Professor B. C. Mal, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Chhattisgarh Swami Vivekananda Technical University, to present the academic perspective on the practicalities and possibilities of uh, the <coughs> Harry Eagle Campus Program. Madam, please grant the UN President Coordinator and the Chief Guest of Police Johnson, Sri Oscar Thanandreji, the Honorable Minister, Dr. A.M. Moni, Lisa Fiji of NIC, Dr. Swanjir Singh, all the guests of owners, the directors and principals of different colleges we facilitated today, the district magistrates, other English Vice President, invited guests, media persons. A good morning to you all. It is a very pleasing and memorable uh, event for me to present here in a forum that uh, in which this your know, Indian Watch in association with the NIC is going to facilitate the district magistrates and the Indian colleges which have excelled in the governance. And I know this engineering watch is has been working relentlessly for a long time for this purpose. I'm very really proud of Mr. Arthur Mittal, who happens to be my student at IIT Khalidu. Uh, I must congratulate and thank him for this initiative. Now, he has probably limited my speech only to the key governance or the, how the college and the university can help in this regard. In fact, all we have come to certain stage and India is most developed as far as our uh, software program and other things are concerned, but still we have to go a long way. Some time back, I was just actually lectured in her by Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. He says many things told. One important thing that I remember is that we want a one-stop solution for tackling different problems. So there should be a convergence of a device which will be able to, you know, sense, compute, and communicate together. And it should be a low-cost, multimedia, multilingual uh, sensing, task sensitive the graphic and our communication device. So it's been a good progress to get this kind of devices and a lot of research is needed. So in this endeavor, the experts from computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, they have to work together and they are working. In my university, there are some 96 colleges, out of which 49 are engineering colleges, and they are all these this place. Although my university knew and the infrastructure is yet to be built up, and we have to handle something like 105,000 students, it's a good start. And we have like a new testing the key governance. Any notice, any circular, any information, we immediately upload that in our website. If I wish to convey any message to my principals, immediately I send them to the group mails. Or for the matter, you got the group mails for different friends so that they will manage it to others. Separately also you can send. We are the only university in the central India which has introduced the digital evaluation system that in 2010 when I left the Harvard College and joined this university, we found the Harvard trust to publish the result timely. So something like 700,000 copies we have to handle in each semester, and the colleges and the teachers who have evaluated some suspect they are spread all over the state from north to south, some 700, 800 kilometers from the past, and also like we have to come up to in the north. So what we have done, we have started the digital evolution system, we did like all the answer scripts, and then we have set up a dozen of evolution centers spread all over the state and where we have the, the land that I mean connect the university system and then 
In this data, the dedicated group was evaluated by 60 computers that get in data. The teacher appointed the subject, he can access the copies, digital copies, using password and login and then evaluate it and then just to put marks in all the things that are in the computer that will accept the marks. And uh, totally in that, it can be the marks that automatically and the data is transferred to the university for automatic printing of data, making it totally human data free. And that's how we are starting to handle the data. So, as Dr. Moni was telling that thing, that there were so many agriculture colleges, so many universities, so many engineering colleges, and so on. But, as I've also seen, you know, rural areas, because I, uh, at the moment, I, Little more in Jordan stuff, but all we have from general model of West Bengal, the Knox Light, then you have the communication is very, very poor, and I have seen what it was, so then I want to see what it is. But then, agriculture depends a lot on the values of nature. Now, you know, most of the agriculture university, there's something known as crop management program based on good as forecasting. And they are doing it, every day they are doing it, and next six years weather can be forecasted. So they have to connect with the metropolitan department and the coast guard what the rainfall policy, what are the humanity and so on, and when what because they to take whether they are going to force, they have to do some spraying or they irrigate the crop and all that these are impossible nowadays, all those things the technology has not spread as yet. The remote, uh, many of the remote areas. What we need is an agriculture kiosk, which should be enveloped in all the blocks, so that farmer can have a about about the soil, raw management, and most importantly, the marketing. When you go to the farmer's field, the vegetable sales that they will be programmed when you come to the consumer, it's according to the Kilogram for why this gap. The farmers who fall for good months just got 10 rupees and the chain of people would go as double. They just managed to get 30 rupees in a year or two. So, the e marketing is very, very essential if you want our agriculture to be sustainable and profitable. Anyway, for all these, all the things to be developed and sustainable, there is a big challenge. You have to go for proper networking, you have to provide the band, sufficient bandwidth, and massive investment in this study. And I am happy that since 2003, that when the government declared that um, e governance plan, government has been investing and still investing. And uh, therefore, I'm sure that this is going to take up. The last thing that I would like to tell about this that we are promising the graduates. They have to be hungry. They have to, I mean, uh, work for the nation, as some of the theories and issues that you get from the country, you have to get some all the food out of them. So, in, 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 for managing, for value education, we need this e governance plan. And as some of have told, that everybody is basically of the financial. So we have to develop that and interesting in the Manchester and the Parkets and all in that and that Parkets and has to develop through education only. And for that also, this key components can play an important role and not at least that we can, in each and every sector, this key components be used elaborately so that it not only helps the development sectors but also it helps in building our young girls, generation, into good, responsible children. I congratulate all the directors of the colleges and the district magistrates of the country who will be pleased today for their excellent work in e governance. And I wish that their work space to other spheres and other districts, other colleges, etc. I thank Indian Watch wholeheartedly for this initiative. Thank you all. Thanks a lot, sir. I would now.